What's up guys, this is Prachi and in today's video we are going to talk about salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is everywhere these days but what does it do, how to use its side effects and things that you don't want to use with salicylic acid. We'll discuss all of that in detail today. So for starters, what is salicylic acid and what does it do? Now it's classified as a beta hydroxy acid or BHA and what it does is that it goes into the deeper layers of your skin and pulls out all the bad stuff, okay? So for people who have a lot of open pores, you know, and they have a lot of black heads, white heads, clogged pores and especially for people with acne oh my god, for people with acne, salicylic acid is something that you must use guys because it's very very beneficial. So a question that a lot of people ask is that is it safe? Because the word used here is acid, it's salicylic acid right? So a lot of us we think that you know it's made in uh, complicated labs with some complicated technology and it's an acid, why should I use it on my face? Guys, let me clarify something okay, salicylic acid is also found in nature by the way, yes uh, apples, avocados, cucumber broccoli, cabbage mushrooms, blueberries, so many things have salicylic acid naturally found in nature it's heavily researched by dermatologists for decades decades, it's recommended by dermatologists all across the world all the time for people with acne problems or otherwise also because it's so good for your skin so now that we are understanding salicylic acid let's understand what the right concentration is okay now this varies from person to person people with oily skin can use more frequently can use more people with dry skin can probably use a little less and so on and so forth and also the frequency for everyday use the right concentration of salicylic acid would be 0.5 percent to 2 percent and i know a lot of you are thinking but prachi half the brands will not even tell us in the ingredient list how much percent of which active is there for that i would like to recommend these two products from the dermaco because they actually mention the percentage of actives right in the name itself so you know what you're going for so first we have the one percent salicylic acid gel daily face wash as you can see it's designed specifically for people with active acne we also have the two percent salicylic acid face serum for active acne they also contain witch hazel willow bark extra extracts and the brand is a dermaco which is a brand designed by dermatologists so it's very safe very effective very scientifically done okay so this is for everyday use for uh, for people who want to use salicylic acid in uh, for much lesser amount of time you know or less frequently you can look at chemical peels and things like that we'll not be talking about that today uh, because chemical peels are not for beginners and this video is all about understanding the basics of it if you want i can do a separate video on that okay so to start uh, to start with 0.5 percent to 2 percent salicylic acid is what you can get started with and that is the right concentration to use on an everyday basis now the next question who can use salicylic acid uh, like i said salicylic acid is very safe so everybody can use it if you have sensitive skin use it no problem if you have acne prone skin please use it your skin will actually love you for it okay uh, your acne will actually start to disappear once you start using salicylic acid people with oily skin please use it it will actually help in dealing with the excess oiliness of your skin people with combination skin normal skin you can also use it if you have dry skin like i have dry skin uh, here's what i would recommend do not overuse it okay because salicylic acid is a chemical exfoliator and excessive use can make your skin dry so what i do is that you know when i start using salicylic acid in my routine um i just make sure that you know i have started using sheet masks at least once or twice a week and i'm using a moisturizer which will keep my skin extra moisturized so we'll talk about that also in just a little bit what moisturizer i personally like to use and all of that now how to use it well obviously start with a patch test like with any ingredient any beauty product start with a patch test and number two for a beginner if you have never used salicylic acid if you don't know if you have used salicylic acid then just consider yourself a beginner and start small okay start in diluted forms so for example if you start using this face wash it contains just one percent salicylic acid so the first two or three days you know just dilute it a little bit more with water okay and then gradually start using it as it is after a few days of using it as it is gradually include this uh, serum into your routine which is a two percent salicylic acid serum so what happens is that you know your skin is gradually getting used to it it's not happening all together you're getting your skin used to it and recommended products like i just recommended these two products i know a lot of you might be thinking but prachi is this in a collaboration with the brand yes this video is in collaboration with the brand guys but if you go back on my channel you'll see that i've actually recommended both of these products for multiple times uh in a lot of my non 
uh, sponsored videos also have actually personally recommended these products because they are very effective very efficient okay so uh, let me start with the face wash which is the dermaco 1% salicylic acid gel daily face wash like i said is designed for active acne so you just take a little bit and use it as a regular face wash for squeaky clean skin it's a gel based formula guys if you see it's a gel based formula it's a non soapy formula it doesn't feel soapy so it's not harsh on your skin it doesn't strip your skin of its natural moisture so i would say that you know when you start using salicylic acid a gel based face wash like this one is such a good way to get started and a good addition because it's not removing the moisture of your skin but it is also uh, cleaning up your skin really well okay and then after a few days of using this you can follow it up with the dermaco 2% salicylic acid face serum like i said it's also designed for active acne so just take a few drops and um, apply it on your skin in light tapping motions if you can this is a good way to apply a serum your skin will absorb it very very quickly because it's a lightweight serum and that's it so both of these products you can use as a part of your am pm morning and evening routine and right after this seal it with a moisturizer uh, these products are also fragrance free and dermatologically tested what i'll do is i will put the link for both of these products in the description box below you can check them out they are available on nika amazon flipkart but if you buy directly from the derma co you can use a coupon code sws2022 that's sws2022 for flat 20% off they have also taken the young scientist initiative and when you uh, place an order with them they will link your order to a child that they are helping educate through bhumi and they have pledged to uh, help 10000 plus students this year and now for the big question are the results permanent now let's understand something it's unclogging your pores it's cleaning up your skin okay so when you start using it initially you start seeing a difference and then then with time you start seeing more and more difference right because obviously your skin is cleaner now your skin is better behaved now but when you stop using it cleaning is a natural everyday process right your skin is going to get dirty every day when you step out in the pollution because of environmental stresses your skin is going to keep getting dirty so when you stop using salicylic acid obviously your skin starts getting dirty again so what i would recommend is that you know you make salicylic acid as a part of your regular skin care routine in some way or the other whether a serum or a face wash ideally it's a good idea to use both for more amplified results but if you want to make uh, to switch things up a little bit at least use one one product with salicylic acid as the hero ingredient that's very important and uh, just uh, keep a just just keep watching your skin you know you'll be able to figure it out now guys when it comes to side effects honestly like i said salicylic acid is very very safe okay so about the side effects very temporary and mostly related to overuse excessive use for example it can make your skin dry it can make your skin itchy red especially if you have already dry skin that can happen only if you overuse it okay so be careful and by the way this happens a lot because a lot of people when they start using salicylic acid they see such amazing results they start overdoing it they start excessively using it too excessively you don't want to do that you don't want to have excessive use because then your skin will get dry you don't want that right so use it correctly use it properly and that's all and if you're a beginner like i said it can lead to skin purging because a lot of nasties will be coming out of your skin so for beginners what i would recommend is that you start using it gradually start using it slowly okay even skin purging is very very temporary if it does happen it's again very very temporary it's just your skin cleaning itself but uh, a good idea is to avoid it and to avoid it just start using it gradually and then make it a part of your routine now when it comes to actives like salicylic acid yes this is a very important question what not to mix it with okay so uh as a rule of thumb do not mix salicylic acid with vitamin c so if you're using salicylic acid serum do not pair it with vitamin c moisturizer on top of it okay if you want to use vitamin c what you can do is use salicylic acid in the morning and vitamin c in the evening but do not use them as a part of the same routine on top of each other vitamin c and salicylic acid do not go well uh, salicylic acid does not go well with retinol because both of these can be very strong when mixed together and again it can lead to some irritation uh, skin sensitivity it can lead to some redness so do not use retinol and salicylic acid together use them separately if you want to use both of them otherwise just use one at a time okay but don't use them on top of each other do not layer them uh, personally when i'm using salicylic Personally, when I'm using salicylic acid, I like to use a ceramide-based moisturizer. Ceramides work really well with salicylic acid. You can also use niacinamide, especially if you have a lot of acne scars. Salicylic acid is dealing with acne, uh, acne problems, clearing up your skin. Niacinamide will help in dealing with the acne scars, pigmentation, uneven skin tone. They work beautifully, very, very well. So these are some ingredients to mix it with and not mix it with. 
And last but definitely not the least, please seal it with a broad spectrum sunscreen. Whenever you're using actives like salicylic acid, it becomes even more important. Use a broad spectrum sunscreen. So which sunscreen would I prefer and would I recommend? Uh, whenever I'm using salicylic acid, I like using hyaluronic acid based sunscreen. There's one from the same brand. So uh, guys, that's all for now. And like I said, the product recommendations that I have, I will share the link with the coupon code in the description box below. If you have used salicylic acid before, let me know in the comment section below how your experience has been, what you used, how it worked out for you. And just you know just your experience i would love to know your story and also on that note don't forget to give this video a thumbs up some thumb also on that note don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel uh, turn on the bell icon for notifications if you like this video if you found this video useful and keep coming back to super style for more guys thank you so much for watching this is me prachi signing off now bye bye